Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture. In today's scenario, we are going to solve a problem where we have to send the first record into one target, the last record into another target, and the rest of the records into the third target. Or in another words, the interviewer can ask that send the header into target 1, the footer or the trailer in target 2, and the detailed records, that is, the records left after removing the header and the trailer into the third target table. This is a common scenario and let's go and solve this. So we have a mapping. Let's create one. We will call it as header trailer and detail records. For the demo, we are having only one column and let's have a target here. As you see, we need to find out the first record and the last and you see we need a sequence to assign to this whole data set so that we can identify the records based on their position. So let's take a sequence generator here. Go to properties and just change it to 1. This is done. Let's quickly have an expression to store this value from the sequence generator. And let's have our data records. Then we also need to have a dummy port with value 1. This will be required to do a join operation. We will see it later on what exactly this means. Meanwhile, we will store a dummy value here like 1. Then let's have an aggregator to do the calculations. We will pass the next value and the dummy and now we will create another port to find the total records. This is going to be a number. Let's find the count of all the records. The most important thing is we don't be uh, using any group by over here. Remember in the last session I have already told you that if you don't select group by condition in the aggregator transformation it will by default select the last row. So here it will have the next value, a dummy port and the total records. Now we will use a joiner. Before I proceed to the joiner I will demonstrate how the data will look like. So from the expression we got this information. Right? This is a sequence. And we have assigned a dummy port. So here you see we have three ports. This is the value of the data. This is the sequence. And the last is the dummy port. From the aggregator, what we got is the last record, that is this record with the next value, and the count. That is, it has total 6 records and the dummy port. What we are interested in is, is to find the total number of records here. And this one will be utilized to do the join operation on this one. So it has only one value coming from the aggregator. And if we append this to the output from the expression, what it should appear like? Because there are 6 records, it should appear something like this. Correct? That's what we are going to do in the joiner transformation. Let's see this quickly. We have to select this property, sorted input, because we are taking the data. 
from the aggregate transformation. We will join on the dummy port. Okay. Now we want the data into three different groups that is for the header, the detail record and the trailer or the footer. So let's use a router. Let's create the groups. Let's say this as header. Then we have the footer. And the rest will be by default the detailed records. So for the header, it's quite obvious that the first value that is of the CDs when we have assigned the sequence, it should be the first value that will be the header. For the footer, it's a no-brainer that the next value, that is the sequence, will be equal to the whole number of records. That is, if we have 6, that is total record 6, and here the next value, that is the sequence, reaches up to 6, it becomes a footer automatically. Okay, let's create two more target instances. We will put the header here, the footer here, and the detail records over here. Let's save this and quickly create a workflow. Now we have to define the source it will be input.txt in the target let's see what is dummy12 dummy12 is having the detailed records Then let's see dummy11 is having the footer records. And dummy12 is the header. Sorry, dummy1. Dot txt. Let's save this and run this. Previously we have seen a scenario where we are extracting the header and the trailer but we haven't seen how to extract the detailed records and it's a modification of the first that scenario. So now 6 records were there and we have written 6 records. Let's check the output. See we have the first record that is A in the footer we have F the last record and in the detail we have all the rest of the records so this is an important scenario it has some basic concepts if you still have any doubt or any questions please do comment and let me know till then happy learning